Hello everyone, my name is Alex, and welcome to this aviation news video. This morning, WestJet CEO Ed Sims announced at a special event that WestJet will begin flights from Calgary, Canada to Rome, Italy, starting in summer 2020. These flights will be operated by their 7879 Dreamliners and will fly once a week on Saturdays at first from May 2nd, 2020 and then move to three times a week on Thursdays, Fridays and Saturdays as of May 28th. When launched, the route will become WestJet's longest flight with a flying time of around 10 hours. It'll also be the only non-stop flight between Italy and Western Canada. In WestJet's press release, Ed Sim said, whether they have Italian roots or are dreaming of a bucket list destination, Western Canadians have never had convenient non-stop access to the Eternal City. WestJet's continued international expansion from our home in Calgary reinforces our commitment to investing in the city as an international aviation hub. With travel via Dreamliner and a shorter travel time as opposed to connecting through Eastern hubs, this flight positions us as a preferable transatlantic option for a wonderful summer holiday in beautiful and historic Rome. WestJet also announced an increase in seasonal flying between Calgary and Paris, with flights six times a week in peak season versus four times weekly in summer 2019. Last week, they also announced that the route would be restarting a month earlier in March. Flights between Calgary and Dublin will also resume a month earlier, flying twice a week starting on May 3rd and then three times a week starting May 30th. Likewise, Calgary to London Gatwick flights will continue to fly at a reduced frequency through the winter, returning to daily service starting on April 14th. WestJet says that this adds up to more than 300 additional transatlantic Dreamliner flights out of Calgary, which represents an increase of more than 52% over 2019's service. This is in addition to last week's announcement that WestJet will start daily Dreamliner service from Vancouver to London on a seasonal basis, starting next April. On October 23rd, WestJet also inaugurated daily year-round service from Toronto to London on the 787. To facilitate this, WestJet will be taking delivery of three more Dreamliners at the start of 2020. Their fourth Dreamliner will be built in Everett, Washington, while the fifth and sixth will be built in Charleston, South Carolina. Now, I'm sure there's one question on most people's minds. Will we see WestJet service to Asia? Well, in a Skies Magazine article in September, WestJet's Vice President of Industry, Corporate and Airport Affairs, Mike McNanny, said this. The challenge with Asia is that it's difficult to serve because of distance and overcapacity in the market, which translates into lower fares. There is lots of growth coming from the Trans-Pacific, but the capacity is growing faster than the demand. When capacity demands are back in balance, we will launch service. One thing we are certain about is that we will not fly profitless volume. We need deep analysis on the markets and we will not rush into that decision. So that doesn't rule out Asia service in the future, but with the success of this year's European Dreamliner flights, it's probably a good move for WestJet to build on that. Definitely some exciting times ahead for WestJet, and I may just have to book myself on the inaugural flight. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.